And also, I am going to go ahead. I've gotten my, uh, I mentioned using a milk carton. I have this old metal milk carton. It was out, actually out in the yard. I brought it in here to thaw out so I can brush this dirt off the bottom of it where it was sitting out in the yard. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and set this in the kitchen where the mouse was coming to. When we first discovered this mouse, he was coming into our kitchen. He was jump. there's a little bitty uh, step here. Honey Baby steps on that to reach things in that cabinet. So he was stepping onto here and we had something, uh, an apron hanging. He was climbing up the apron, he was getting in this basket and first he ate, was eating an apple and then he started eating potatoes that are in a bag up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that, that milk crate right there I'm gonna set the mouse trap in there. And I'm gonna set the bait on it just like he said. He also said to aim the aim the part of the bait where the hook is toward the wall, so that the mouse won't climb over the hook and get thrown up in the air. He, you know, he want him to come in from the side where the, the the thing's gonna pop over and hit him. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that there. I'm gonna put the bait on it. I'm gonna watch the trap, and I told Honey Baby in when and if we see something eating that we'll uh we'll set the trap the other thing he said to do is get this stuff called one bite and he was saying that one bite is not necessarily poisonous the way some of this mouse poison is he, he described it as being like cornmeal mixed with plaster and when the rat eats it it hardens up in his tummy and he unfortunately passes away but sometimes you just have to get rid of them you know even if it means they're going to have a hard day um, but I went on Amazon.com. I couldn't find any one bite locally in any of my stores, but Amazon.com Amazon has it here. It's like 10 bucks for 16 ounces. And he said, take that and uh, and shove some of that in the hole. He said, somewhere around your house, there's probably a hole where they're going down in the basement. And there is, I, I know where there's, well, I know where there's several holes. He said, put some of that in there, cover it over with dirt and if the dirt gets uncovered then you know they're still alive if you cover it over with dirt put some of that in there you'll know that they ate it and they didn't dig their way out so um he said to get some of that which i have ordered from amazon and i'm actually thinking about it i was thinking about where there was a hole but actually i, I think there might be more than one hole because i remember when i was putting up christmas lights i saw another one out here where something's been going down in the foundation so that's my plan uh that's how we're going to get rid of the, well, I think taking the couch out of here has probably gotten rid of the rat already, but we'll see. I'll keep y'all posted. I hope none of you ever have this problem. He said, for some reason this year, it's a really good year for rats. He says he's getting all kinds of people complaining about rats. So apparently rats are on the rise. That's not a political statement. Have a nice day. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking about the politics. I don't want to talk about politics. Oh, Lord have mercy. That gets people wound up quick. Okay, so this is what he said to do. He said to put some peanut butter with some of these uh, pumpkin seeds on here and let the rat get used to eating here where the trigger is. And just set it in there. And see, I've got my little milk carton. I uh, took a wire brush and kind of cleaned it up a bit. <clears throat> And he said, set the uh, part where the wire is going to go back sort of toward the wall. So that when that wire comes down, see it's going to come down from that side. So I'm going to sit in there like that. And the rat can go in there through that handle hole, but Charlie can't. And then we can just leave that there and we can keep an eye on it. I can come and look. Yep, if I start seeing that that stuff's being eaten, just set the trap. And then see what happens after that. So, that's what we did. He said not to put a lot of peanut butter. He said you don't want to satisfy them. You just want to give them enough to make them want more. He said put little, maybe little pencil sized gobs of peanut butter on there. So, so there's that.